What's up everybody? Guess what? I made a VTuber. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is my very first avatar and I want to take you through some quick steps that helped me into making a very simple basic outline and getting familiar of how to use Vroid and then how we are going to transfer our avatar into animes, which is what I'm using to stream record in here. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, the two programs that you'll need to download is Vroid Studio and Animes. So when you open it up, it'll look something like this. You're more than welcome to use the sample models that they have here on the bottom left. But if you want to create your own, go ahead and press on the left hand side where it says create new. There is a feminine and masculine. I think today we're going to go ahead and do the feminine one for me. So when you open up your studio, you'll notice that everything feels kind of out of place. Like, what do I play with? But when you come in here, they have what's called face sets, eye sets, irises, eye highlights, scalarias, scalarias, scleras. So I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Mm. Eyebrows, eyelids, eyeliner, eyelashes, nose, mouth, mouth inside, lips, cheeks, skin, face paint, and expressions editor. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a generic one where it already has a preset of it. On the right hand side, you have a tab that has parameters. If you are in the face set preset, you can go ahead and individually change each of the facial expressions like your eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, and much more. If you're wanting to change your eye color, whether it's left or right or the same, you will go to the right hand side and click the following color eyes that you wish to use. And you can also adjust the size of your iris with the X and Y, the gaze, and gaze distance. You can also decide which iris you wish to use, or if you want to be spooky and scary friends, you're welcome to do that as well. No! Eye highlight is this white ring around her eyes. If you want to take that off, or if you want to add one to your liking, go for it. I like to give it just a little bit of glare, or sometimes something a little bit more dramatic, which looks really pretty. You can even add stars. Woo! Okay, we're going with Clover. I love you! This actually can do a little bit of eye shading just to kind of give it a little bit more realistic look rather than just this plain white. But again, to your liking. They have eye presets in here or you can add in your own custom one by clicking the plus sign and then going in and adjusting it to your design and then you will hit save. Or no, it automatically saves. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the preset one and then adjust to it to my liking. Next, we're going over to the eyelids which if you want to give the eye sockets a little bit more depth or less of a depth you can also change the color based on your preference over on the right hand side by customize eyeliner i'm somebody that loves the cat eye look they also have some fun ones in here if you wish to do a different style you can also change your color of eyeliner in the customize tab over on the right hand side if you want thick less lower lash upper lash and then you can also change the color of the lash as well next for the nose there's very simple basic ones in here and also you can change to the color of the skin and the mouth it has a couple of different various types i think i'm gonna go ahead and use this one the mouth inside i haven't really messed around with so i'm not sure what exactly they are if it's like fangs or like a vampire look and then the lips if you want to give yourself lipstick the cheeks if you want to give yourself blush skin okay so color is your your main color in here darker colors would be for shading and then lighter color for highlights you can also adjust the size of your ears. You can do ear stretch, <coughs> ear prominence, rounded ears. You can remove the ears, cheekbone position, sunken cheeks, chin, jawline, chin length, and much more. Face paint is something if you want to give it an expression or some whiskers, tears, a band-aid, wrinkles. The expression editor will let you know what you'll look like when you smile, when you're sad, when you're angry, when you're happy. When you're surprised, closed, right, left eye, A, I, U, E, and O. And then back to neutral. You can also adjust it to what you prefer when they smile, when they're sad, and so on and forth on the right hand side. Okay, now that we got our facial and head part done, you can also use presettings for hairstyles and you can change your hair color. You can also adjust the hair. You can create your own strands, which in my case, 
That is a lot of work, but in this, they have presets if you wish to use them. Oh yeah, you can adjust their height if they want to be tall, if they want to be short, body size, head size, head width, neck length, and so on. Outfits, there are some presettings if you wish to use them over on the left-hand side for whole sets, or you can go in individually and change the look. Oh my God, actually, that looks super cute. <laughs> you also have some custom ones if you wish, if you click the plus sign on the left for tops and go inside and individually change them, color, texture, and all. And then they do have a couple of cute little accessories here if you wish to use them, which I think are so cute. And you can rotate the ears accordingly and you can change the color of it. You can make your ears bigger or smaller. It's pretty cool. You can also put them both on, which I thought is kind of interesting. And you can also put in glasses which I think she looks adorable, to be honest. There's also intensity for hair and whatnot. If you need to zoom in and zoom out, there we go. She looks adorable. And then if you want to test out her features, you can also check out poses and animations. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Angry laugh. <laughs> oh. Just to double check if everything does look okay. Then once you're done and you're satisfied with your avatar, you're going to hit export as VRM. It does take a while, so please be patient with it. It might be a little slow based on uh, how fast it downloads. Here I'll hit export and then give a name to your avatar. And then you can add the avatar personality if you wish, but I am going to send it just to me. You are more than welcome to give it to anybody if you wish to. And for this, I just use the creative license. And then you can do additional license information URL if you wish to, otherwise hit export and then save it to your prefer folder. Make sure that you're constantly saving or you'll lose everything. And then it'll always be saved in your recently edited menu. Okay, now that we got that done and it's saved, now we're going to go ahead and go to animes. Since I already have it open, since I am using it for streaming, you can kind of see how um, if everything is already preset. I will tell you before you stream to have this app open first, because if you try to open it with OBS, and this open, it's gonna have a hard time trying to get your camera on here. To do this, we are gonna go ahead and add a new avatar. So in here, you'll notice that there are a presetting for avatars if you wish to use them. To add in a new avatar, you're going to hit the plus sign, select the one you wish to use, hit open, and then it will import it. Okay, now once it is imported, you're more than welcome to keep this open or you can click the don't show me this again. It's just letting you know that if you do have trouble and you do need help to get started, that they do provide you with the link. Oh, she looks so adorable. Right now, you guys can't see it just because it is currently recording, but my background is green. Hi. To change your background, you're gonna go to backgrounds on the second option on the left-hand side and click green screen. The other option too, if you can't see it, you can also type it in the search bar for green screen and it should pop up right there for you. Now we just need to turn on to our camera by clicking on the cog wheel for settings, video graphics, and webcam at the very top. That'll let you get to your cam link or whichever you use for your video camera. And then the resolution that you are using should be 1280 by 720. And then I can disable my virtual thing so that you guys can see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and hit enable virtual camera. If your character seems to be off to the left or it's not calibrating correctly, um, once you have adjusted your camera, which is right over on where I'm looking at, you'll hit calibrate and just hold very still. And there you go. Then what you'll need to do is go to your sources, hit the plus sign and go to video capture device. Then what you'll do is you'll hit anime's virtual camera and it should come up like this. If you are still having trouble, you might have to go back into your settings. So make sure you have it on anime's virtual camera. For resolution, you'll hit custom. The resolution should be 1280 by 720. You will leave it at match output F PS, video format X, R, G, B, color space is default and color range is default, buffering audio detected. And then once you're done, go ahead and click OK. So now we need to get rid of the green screen. And to do that, right click onto your avatar and go to filters. And we're going to go to effects filters, tap on the plus sign, chroma key, and your key color should be green. Once you're done, go ahead and hit close. And now you should have something similar to this. 
if you need to move your avatar, all the settings are available right in the anime's app. Uh, your character, you'll just hold control and then move your character accordingly. You can move her up and down, zoom in closely. You can also have her wave, give a thumbs up. Q will be your main one if you want to wave. To remove your watermark, you will go ahead and go to your profile image to shortcuts, remove watermark. You will have to subscribe to it, which is totally up to you. Otherwise, if you don't want to do this, the simplest way that I am able to take it off since it is on the outer edge of my avatar, I'm able to crop my avatar by holding the alt down button and then put it to my preferred settings. And voila, pretty simple, right? No. Again, if you have any questions or you are struggling of how to get started, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I had lots of fun making this little character. I think she looks absolutely adorable. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for coming and watching. I had an awesome time showing you guys this. Hopefully this helps you out in getting you started.